Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy JDog3015, back with another Skate 3 video. In today's Skate 3 video, we got another game save that comes with the two Dr. Pepper shirts, the Dr. Pepper hat, and the Dr. Pepper can man. It also comes with this green and black checkered board and realistic green grip tape. But before we get into the skater, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications for weekly videos. As you guys can see here, we got the new skater, the Trick Line God skater with the Drew in the back and then a purple realistic grip tape. It's pretty awesome in my opinion, uh, it's one of my favorite characters I've made so far. And later on when I show you the logos on this game save, it does not disappoint, so stick around for that. But without further ado, let's take a 360 shot of this new skater. A message pops up right here because we are wearing the robot demo glasses and as you guys can see we got the trick line god skater with Drew in the back and with the uh, line god board and the trick line god hat. And if we swap genders right here to the female is the exact same skater but on the female so if you like that that's on the game save as well. I'm curious comment down below what do you guys rate this skater as out of 10? Is it 10 out of 10, 5 out of 10 or 1 out of 10? Personally I like this so it's probably going to be a 9 out of 10 for me. And if you guys don't know how to get this on your Xbox 360, stick around later for a tutorial on how to do that. Now, if we go to free play right here, as I said at the beginning of the video, this save comes with all the Dr. Pepper stuff, including the Dr. Pepper can man. And before we get into the logos on this game save, if you haven't checked out my other videos on game saves, I'll leave something in the top right corner for you guys to click and check out. Alrighty, so now let's take a closer look at these logos on this game save. Okay, so for the first logo, we got the Trick Line God logo with the red and white and blue um, crowns, which is pretty dope. And for the second logo, we got the Life Skate logo with the S in the front and the Era on the back, which is pretty cool with the crowns. Third logo is the green and black checkers, which is awesome. And finally is my favorite logo is the black box. Now this black box is really tiny, which is amazing because the smaller the black box, the bigger you can make the black box and the bigger you can make the black box, the bigger you can make logos to make cool looking boards or shirts or hats, which is probably why I like this game save so much. But right here, I'm showing you guys how to get that first board you saw in the beginning of the video with the realistic green grip tape and the checkered bottom. All you gotta do is go in between three, which is the checkered logo and four, which is the black box. And before you know it, you'll have a realistic green grip tape and checkered on the bottom just like this. After last video, I posted a poll for you guys, guy or girl for the next import, which is this import, and 53% of you guys voted for girl, so this week is going to be a girl import. That being said, if you add me at import dog right now, I'll add you back and you can get this sick looking girl import for this week, the trick line god import. That's import donk once again, and just to clarify, this is only up to 100 people because that's the max you can get on Xbox 360 or a week after this video has been uploaded. So if you guys are watching this a week after it's uploaded, I probably came out with a new skater. If you guys missed or don't like the import, feel free to get the game save because I share that as well. And like always, after this video has been uploaded, I'll post a poll for you guys for the next import so you guys can vote on what you guys want for the next one. So keep an eye out for that. And if you guys are here for the tutorial, that's coming up right after this. Just before we get into this, all the download links are in the description for Horizon and the game save itself. So before you guys do anything else, just download those links. Alright, so if you guys are doing this for the first time ever, go onto your 360, start up Escape 3, and you want to make a brand new uh, game save that has like nothing on it. This is a good way to ensure that nothing would go wrong um, if you're doing it from scratch, but if you already have a game save, that's okay too. Now, on your 360, you want to grab your USB stick and plug that bad boy in. And then select USB storage and then make a new game on it. 
I'll speed up this process so you don't have to really uh, see it all. Alrighty, so once you're set up, you want to go to Edit Skaters and Edit Skater. Now you just want to change like one little thing and then back out so it saves. I'm just going to put this uh, little graphic on there just to ensure it's something different. So yeah, you want to have that little icon right there. It's just a saving icon. Once you get that, you can back out. I'm just going to show you guys that there's no graphics on this. Awesome. Once it's saved, you can just back out of your Xbox 360 and then you can go into your computer. Remember to unplug your USB from your Xbox 360 because you'll need that later. Now, on Horizon, you gotta grab that USB and then plug it into your PC. Once your USB is in your PC, you want to start up Horizon. Once you're in uh, Horizon, you want to go to USB storage device, you want to go to games, you want to go to Escape 3, and then you want to go to your profile. Sometimes your profile says unknown, but then you got to check what date has been modified, basically the day that you created it. So pull it out, and go to contents, go to Skater P, and then go to replace. Now when you want to place it with the skater.p that you downloaded before, and the same thing for the RMC DEL as well. After you do that, you want to save and hash and resign, and then that's it. Make sure you uh, remove your USB, and then you can go on to your 360. Once again, the download for the game save will be in the description down below. Now, on your Xbox 360, all you have to do is plug in your USB into your 360. And then you want to go ahead and start up Skate 3. Now, like before, when you press Start and A, you want to select your USB storage. And make sure, right here, you do not connect to EA Nation, or else you would lose your black box and graphics. It's very important. Remember, we went from basically having one skater and nothing to having all five skaters, and you can see in the top left there's a black box. Now I'm going to show you guys that we do have graphics, the one, two, three, four right here. Remember before we didn't have any at all, so I'm just going to put the black box on the board right now. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys liked the video. And I uh, hope you guys like and subscribe. And I'll catch you later.